Hey guys, if you're new to this channel, my name is Mel and I post different kinds of videos, mostly art videos and random vlogs and then sometimes other kinds of videos, um, but this one is an artsy video. So basically, um, a long time ago, <laughs> back in like the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, a popular gel pen brand that you could find in like different um, stores was Pentel and these two purple gel pens which are pretty much the same shade are um, my two last remaining Pentel original Pentel gel pens these were called hybrid gel pens and these two gel pens are probably approximately 20 years old because I got them when I was in high school from our school store. And so these used to be found like um, in more places. Now you can still get them in some specialty art shops as well as on Amazon. Um, but it's a lot harder to find them now, um, and these two eventually will be um, gone soon because they are um, running out of their ink. However, I um, last year when I went to CC Lowell, I did find the Milky Pop gel pens, which... Um, the pop, I think, is a bit more recent to the name. I'm not sure when they added it, um, because I think just back when I used to get them all the time, they used to be just like uh, Milky, um, but now they're Milky Pop. So the Milky Pop ones are like pastel, and they work on both black and white paper. And then from Amazon, I recently bought the Solar Pop and the Sparkle Pop gel pens. Um, so the Sparkle Pop works also on black and white paper. I believe the Solar Pop um, does not work very well on black paper. It's just more for white paper. However, if you have a black light, um, supposedly it does um, glow under a black light. So I wanted to try these out to see if they actually um, still hold up to how I remember using them um, because these used to be like my favorite gel pens when I was a teen um, before the whole like jelly roll became trendy and popular um, and now I have different brands. I have the Jelly Roll, I have some Uniballs, um, some Sarasas, uh, so, but this one I want to try out the Pentel gel pens. So let's get started. Okay, so first up I would do some swatching and I do have some black mixed media paper and some white mixed media paper. So here are the milky gel pens on both the black paper and the white paper. I think the pink and purple are slightly darker than I remember, although of course I could be wrong, um, but it has been around like, you know, a long time since I have used any of these because, again, the only two remaining ones that I have are the purple hybrids. Um, so I haven't used the Milkies in probably over five years. I'm not sure when. I can't remember when I had to toss my last Milky ones out. But um, yeah, so <laughs> these are the Milky ones. And next we will try the Sparkle Pop, which are the Sparkle Pop, 
ones change color on dark or light paper. So it says that you have two shades with one pen. And so it basically says they are in metallic colors and you have black with red, blue to green, green to blue, orange to yellow, purple to blue, pink to light pink, gold to yellow, and silver to light silver. So for these, I will try to kind of put them on the edge of the paper. And I'm not going to go in any specific order, but Okay, so with these, um, I can definitely see that some of the colors um, in certain angles are different between the black and the white paper. However, some of them are also very, very close. Um, like, basically, the one that's supposed to be black I really don't see the black showing up. Oh, now I see black showing up. But when I did it here, it just was not showing up very well. Um, so that's a little bit like you can definitely see, still see the red. So depending on the angle that you're going with, um, will also depend on how you see the colors. Um, cause I also feel like this one was a little bit harder to tell um, and this one was a little bit harder to tell and it definitely really depends again on um, if you're how you're seeing it but they are very pretty and they do work well on both the black and the blue on the white paper the last gel pens that I will try will be the solar pop. So with the um, solar ones you get six different colors. It is an eight pack so I do have an extra blue and green so um, we will just focus on the six colors obviously. Like I said these ones do not really show up on the black however I will still you know um, show you just so that you can see for yourself. Okay, I've got the pink working. So these are the colors for the solar pops and definitely, um, you can definitely uh, see that they do not work nearly as well on the black paper. Um, a few of them show up very darkly, but they just, um, if you get the solar pops, just know that they are not meant for dark paper. They are meant for just white paper and um, showing up under a black light. Whereas the sparkle pop and the milky pop, and I believe there is still another metallic one that you can get, those are good for both white and black paper and you know any other dark <laughs> colored paper or light colored paper um, and then as a little bonus I just wanted to test my um, I believe these are the same shade they should be. Yes. Um, so basically, here also is just a little bonus of my two old hybrids. And the hybrids also were not meant for black paper. Um, they were only meant for light colored paper.
So now that we have swatched all these beautiful colors, we will do a little coloring. And so here I have my little pushing um, coloring book that I bought. And so we will choose a picture and we will color. So I think we'll do this um, page. And I'm probably not going to use every color, but I will use, try to use a little bit of a variety. This, these gel pens are just so amazing. They are just as great as when I used them when I was a teen. Um, they just, it's like sometimes with other gel pens, I have trouble with like, they start out strong, but then um, the ink stops flowing. These ones I was able to color both Pusheen and her sister just absolutely fine. Yes, since they are gel pens, you will get like the streakiness and like the white, um, but it does create some nice texture. Um, so these are great for coloring, for doodling, for artwork, for crafts, like if you like making cards or something, if you want to write a letter to a friend. Like, these are just amazing gel pens. Uh, like, I just love them so much. <laughs> um, so, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!